Hey guys and welcome back to another video. Hope you are okay on that side of the screen. And today we are going to take a look on one of the best ways in my opinion of course on how to turn on or off and control any brand of air conditioner from anywhere in the planet as long as we have a phone with an application and internet connection. And before I show you how and explain you how, let me just show you what I mean. I've got my AC turned off right now, as you can see on that angle. And if I press here on my phone, on, it will just basically turn on 25 degrees. If I say, okay, no, I want 23 degrees. Here it goes. I want 21 degrees. There we go. I want to change from cold to heat or I uh, want to change the fan to fan speed one there we go I can do this here but I can also do this while I'm on the beach and I just say okay I'm gonna be home half an hour I want to have it fresh so let me just put here the temperature that I want and basically that is it now if I want to turn it off I just press the off button and there we go. This is really, really awesome. Also, something really awesome is cdkeysales.com, which is the sponsor of this video, where we will find keys at very affordable price. Windows 10 Pro, Windows 11 Pro, and Office 2021. We have checked here on the channel. There will be a link down below and also a coupon code. So if you are looking for a official budget key for your Windows machine, there we go. Now, I will also leave a link for the SwitchBot Hub, which is something that we have been using for the last two, three years, something like that, because it's not only for air conditioner. It has a lot of use case scenarios. I will leave some links right over here, some links down below. We have been using some products from SwitchBot, including manual buttons. When we look at a washing machine, either closes or dishes they have some buttons physical buttons that will allow us to control a machine like that we also have seen here to open and close those older curtains that we have on our home so make those curtains smart with our application and the hub is very useful because some of those devices will connect to the hub and then the hub will connect to our internet and it will give us a lot of functionality in this particular case for ac or any other infrared remote control like uh, the TV or a radio or something like that we just need the hub itself and it will work wonderful as we just seen right over here now what I'm going to do with you is I'm going to delete this device and I will create a new one so that you can see how easy it is to pair a air conditioner right over here now let's go to settings by the way if you want to use it with Amazon Alexa as you can see you can configure right over here Google Assistant or Siri and even more interesting in my opinion of course is home assistant which is just awesome you can control everything on your home assistant installation because SwitchBot is a native integration we just need to press a button and integrate all the devices that we have if you look at the back I'm not really sure if you can see I've got Grafana right over there with my home assistant that I can control temperatures and a lot more now that being said let's go to delete this machine or you will be bored and you will leave the video and I don't want to do that and here we are now I'm going to select one of the hubs that I've got in this particular case the hub that I've got here on the office which is this one right over here and I'm going to press add remote control and as you can see there are some examples of the devices that we can put in right over here but the truth is that any device with infrared will learn uh, automatically or manually in the worst case scenario um, the way that it works imagine one device that you have that it's not recognized by the app you select others and then you can just learn and it will, it will ask okay tell me which button is to turn on and you press the on button and it will learn that button tell me the one that it's off and so on and so on so you can do with any device in this particular case with air conditioners, it's the ones that I've tried here and family and friends now let's go to air conditioners and there are a few things right over here if you want to pause and read go ahead smart learning and it says that I've got a few seconds to press a button on my AC remote so I'm going to do that press on button or off button as you want and it's already capturing whatever I did and now it says that you have a few models available right over here try the one that works best for you so the first thing that I want to do is with model number one because if I swipe we have three four 
5 so there are a few that work probably better than others i want to try if it works so let's press on and it did work so let's press the minus button for the temperature there we go 24 22 in this particular case it didn't register the 22 so probably this is not the best model let's go forward for the model number two and let's check out if the temperature works or not so here we go 23 in this particular case probably 24 yeah i think it did switch off the light because it was not with the exact same temperature or probably this is another model that doesn't work that well let's put another number right over here now let's turn it off for a while okay it looks like in my particular case and i've checked a few the model number two is the one that it's working better so if i press right over here in temperature it will change the temperature 20 19 18 and my ac the limit is 18 as you can see right over here it goes to 16 but in the actually it will not go so if i go to 17 18 and then 19 20 and 21 and there we go so this works well if i go to the on off yes if i go to the several modes if i want heat for example there we go heat and if i want to dry or something like that they all work great as well let's keep it cool then we also have the fan speed i can increase fan speed right over here in this particular case fan speed number three well let's put it on number one the only thing that i cannot work is the swing mode this is the only thing that did not work so far but basically this is it very easy as this so now i just need to save and give a name in this particular case ac which is office in portuguese i have a room called ac just because i want to have all acs together on the app as you can see right over here if i press acs i've got four of my seven ac machines controlled by the switchbot app and right over here i've got all devices including this one with the temperature of the office but we will talk about temperatures in the video and now to wrap up let's go to the ac office and turn it off and there it goes turning off so this is just awesome with a incredible usage because any of our acs will be able to be smart ac using just a small device such as this one which is connected via usb we can connect to any outlet and it has a really nice range that being said hope that this video was helpful in some way and if it was don't forget the usual thumbs up right over there which is really appreciated on this side of the screen my name is roberto george and as always i'll see you guys on the next one